So this woman posted this in the marriage subreddit. She says, I'm no longer mad. I'm just hurt. And then she posted these pictures of this caulking job that her husband did. So here's picture one. Here's picture two. And here is picture three. She says, I've been dealing with the issues within my marriage for years. Over the last few months, I've come to terms with it being a marriage of convenience. We have kids and we don't fight, just don't necessarily bond. This is just one example. But there's been more and more things like this lately that without the emotional bond are making me think the convenience isn't quite so convenient. Last year, after waiting weeks for him to finish a bathroom renovation, I finally just did the job myself and a damn good job if I do say so. Due to me um, being a sink percher, the caulk seal started loosening around the vanity. So I asked him to please re-caulk it and refresh the bath caulking on his day off. I came home to the job in the pictures. It's so thoughtless that I bypassed mad and have gone straight into heartbroken. Our small children could have done better. There's hair stuck in parts because he didn't even bother wiping down the tub beforehand. He is not unex unexperienced in this sort of thing. And I'm left to believe he just truly doesn't care about um, not only the work I have put into us having a nice bathroom, but the welfare of our family's home. This caulking job is a surefire way to gather moisture and mold. I work a very emotionally tolling job. Instead of talking to him about this last night, I just went to bed. I suppose I'm coming to this sub to not only vent my feelings, but for advice on how you would approach this situation. He will lean into the, well, I thought it was a good job and I'll just not do it next time trope. And that's precisely what that is. No normal thinking person is going to think that they did a good job by doing this. This is a complete and utter mess. And to lean into, you know what, I'll just not do it next time. Obviously, whoever did this was looking for a fight. They're not looking to, you know, try to do anything nice for their family. Th this type of thing just shows hatred or apathy or just being completely done with the relationship. So Tonic65 says, this isn't just a lazy job. There's a lot of anger and resentment in those beads. Jessica says, came here to say the same, weaponized incompetence. And Libidimus LB says, this isn't weaponized incompetence. I think you need plausible deniability for that. This is just straight up F you. I think this is malicious compliance. This is malicious. This is not weaponized incompetence. Sim um, simple Champ says 100%. This is how you spell out screw you with a caulking gun. And then Cozy warm Warmth Coffee says you can make out the S and the Y. This person says I can just see myself seeing this and screaming my head off in frustration and then probably crying for a bit and then screaming and crying and leaving the house and the kids with him so I can get a good night's sleep. But the kids don't deserve that. The kids deserve better than that. Um, Mostly Harmless says, I am the worst caulker on the planet, and this is 50 times worse than my worst job. I check the floor and the walls around your toilet. Um, for Forever be old, Beholden says, this has to be done intentionally badly. Um, and then this person said, did he just stand like two meters from the point and try to shoot, shoot it from there? Okay, I wanted to get to these set of comments. Normal C was um, said this was done on purpose as a bait for a big fight. And then Ty Tricky says, don't take the bait. It will piss him off even more. Just file. And then Purple Unicorn says, but what does someone get from that, though? Like, what's the motive? And Dakota Noodle says the motive is so he can blame this big fight, a setup on the OP, framing it to look like she can't even appreciate that he took time out to do what she asked him. And that she made him feel like he'll never be good enough. That's what he'll say, at least. Cite her lack of gratitude as the reason he is now confident they'll never be happily married. It's a cowardly way to duck out of a relationship blame-free, rather than having to work on the underlying cause of his apparent uh, resentment towards her. Okay, so keep that in mind. That yes, it just seems like he is looking for a fight. 
Purple Unicorn responds with, this is an effing fantastic expl- explanation. Thank you. Sincerely, I appreciate it. I had a narc ex and my therapist was like, he found your weakness. You always wanted things to make sense, but there isn't logic or rationality in a lot of this kind of behavior. He doesn't want to look like the bad guy. And you know what a lot of people think rather than rather simplistically and would buy into his narrative. I tried so hard, did exactly what she asked, and she's still whining and complaining. Hits so hard. Sometimes if I ask my ex to pick up a few things, probably three to five items at the grocery store on the way home, he would forget one of the items. I would ask him to write a list. He did one time and still forgot. I was like, you have to look at the list and cross off the items as you grab the item for the list to be helpful. He would darvo me and say I'm belittling him, so condescending towards him, etc., that I should really work on how I talk to people, etc. I would cite medical malpractice studies that show doctors have less incidences of malpractice when they use a checklist. It's just a part of being a human being. He would blow up and explode on me. You want things done a certain way, you should just do it. He is a brilliant man, actually. One of the smartest people I know, actually. Now, I want to remind us all what DARVO means. The D stands for um, deny, A stands for attack, and the RVO stands for reverse victim offender. So this is when a person does something wrong or does something, and then you call them out on it. Like, why didn't you get all five of the things? And then they turn it back on you. You're never satisfied. You're always complaining. I try to do my best and then this is how you treat me. They reverse victim offender. Now they are the victim. And now they are like, oh my God, why do you always do this? Because they want a fight. So she she saw this example of this woman in this caulking. And then she could see, it's like that light bulb moment went off like, aha, I've experienced that as well. That's another reason why I do these stories so that you can see, no, you're not going crazy. You can look at that and see that that was terrible. So if you call them out on it and have a fight about it, then it's just like, see, see, see how she is, see how she treats me. (laughs) So they do this on purpose. Don't take the bait. Purple Unicorn finishes up with, in writing this out and seeing people's responses, I feel a bit foolish for how long I tolerated much worse. And then until you know me says, don't beat yourself up. I did the same thing. And guess what? Our exes aren't worth it. It's taking up too much real estate in your head when you should be doing self-care for you. And that's the thing. That's the reason why social media is so powerful. Because when we start sharing our stories and we see you're not going crazy because these stories are very, very similar. So social media is really helping change people's lives, change women's lives. This person at the bottom, this rainbow unicorn says, towards the end of my 20 year marriage, I at one point seriously contemplating just tattooing, F it, I'll do it myself on my forehead just to save me the time and wasted breath. That's what they that's where they really want to go with things to get you to the point of saying, F it, I'll do it myself. And once you know that strategy, you see that you're in a relationship that is not a partnership. Once you know that, then it's like then it becomes easier to contemplate and execute evacuating, just leaving, leaving the situation because it's never going to get better. Join the conversation. Let me know what you think about this one. Don't forget to like, comment and share.